the 2019 Ford Ecosport Titanium. Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. In this video, we're going to go over all the standard as well as optional equipment that is available on that titanium trim of the 2019 Ford Ecosport. So very detailed video. I'll cover first all the standard equipment as we go around the vehicle and dive into the inside, as well as we'll talk about the different packages and standalone options that are available. So again, very thorough video. Uh, do check the timestamps down below if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, you can move around in the video as you feel uh, the best for you. Also, don't forget, save this to your playlist. If you're wanting information on that titanium trim and you look in the market for an Echo Sport, maybe you know somebody wants an Echo Sport, don't forget to pass this video on to them. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get started on this titanium trim of the 2019 Ford Echo Sport. Now, first, I want to talk about safety. And if you've watched any of the other videos prior to this, uh, whether it be the SE video or the uh, S, you're going to see all the same safety features on the Titanium as well. Uh, all the safety features are going to be standard on every single one of your Echo Sports. So if you've watched this uh, before, you can fast forward to the front of the video. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead. If, if you haven't watched those, we'll go over that real quickly here. Uh, to first, talk about the airbags. You do have a dual stage front airbag for the driver and front passenger. So it's going to deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. And it does have sensors underneath those seats to uh, let that system know that. Also, you're gonna get side impact airbag. Not only these front seats like we've seen in a lot of other Ford vehicles, this is one of the only vehicles that have the side impact airbags on the back seat as well. So if the side collision is gonna deploy those airbags on the side of those seats to protect those occupants uh, in those two outside seats. Also, the safety canopy airbag that's gonna deploy airbag from the top down to protect it with a rollover sensor as well. So really protects you all the way around the vehicle. Uh, in fact, it does have a driver and front knee airbag as well. That's going to deploy an airbag below the dash there. So if you have that front collision and the engine goes down, then it's going to protect those knees uh, from that coming. Uh, depends on the severity of that front collision. So really protect it all the way around. Also, this stuff does have advanced track with roll stability control. It helps you keep you on your intended path to control any kind of rollover situation. So if you go into a curb maybe too fast, maybe it's uh, raining or something, it's going to use a series of brakes and milliseconds around the vehicle to help you stay on your intended path uh, going into those different curves. So you're going to have that as well. SOS post crash alert system as well that's going to honk the horns and flash the lights if you happen to be in an accident off the road so people know to come to your safety. Also you do have the 911 assist that's going to call 911 directly uh, instead of maybe an OnStar or third party service that some other uh, manufacturers have. Uh, that way, if you, of course, you do have to Bluetooth your phone in, but you call 911 directly when you're in an accident instead of calling like OnStar or something like that. Also, for the kids in the back, you do have that latch system, lower anchors and tethers for children. That's going to securely uh, get those safety, those seats, uh, those car seats, booster seats down into the back of those seats securely. Uh, you know, screwing them down there. Also, you're going to have the child safety lock on these two outside doors on the back. Then you can change those, you can lock them out so that way they can't open those doors when you're going down the highway. So, some great safety features uh, that you see that are standard equipment on pretty much all your Echo Sports. Now, the standing drivetrain on this is going to be front wheel drive uh, with the uh, one liter EcoBoost engine that's going to deliver 123 horsepower, 125 pound feet of torque. And it will come with the auto start stop technology, which means when you pull up the stoplight, stop sign, you press the brake and it's going to shut the vehicle off. When you let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on and have it ready to go for you, even before you transition over to the gas pedal. That's a feature you, maybe you don't like. We've heard some, some people complain about that. You can uh, deactivate that for each trip by hitting the auto start stop button. It's that A with the circle around it right below your climate control there on the left side of it. So really easy to be able to do that. Also, it's going to come with the six-speed automatic transmission with select shift. And select shift means that you can put in that manual mode or that sport mode uh, there on your shifter, clear down at the bottom. And you can shift it up and down using a plus and minus beside the shifter knob. So you can shift it like a manual transmission, which comes in real handy if you're up in the mountains, uh, you're coming down from those steep uh, hills. Uh, that's a way to be able to shift down and save your brakes a little bit on that. So that's a very uh, popular configuration, but you can also get the four wheel drive, optional four wheel drive uh, system, which is going to give you the 2.0 liter or that two liter uh, four-cylinder engine. Uh, what's great about that engine, it's going to give you also auto start stop technology, uh, but it's going to give you a little more performance. So you're going to have 166 horsepower, 149 pound-feet of torque. Uh, so a little bit more power behind that one. And it is going to get you uh, the auto start stop technology is going to be included with that. 
Also, six-speed automatic transmission with select shift as well. Now, we haven't talked about fuel economy. That front-wheel drive will get you about 27 miles per gallon in the city and about 29 miles per gallon on the highway. And the four-wheel drive will get you about 23 miles per gallon in the city and that same 29 miles per gallon on the highway. So good configuration there. Now, uh, with this, I didn't mention earlier on the safety, you do get E-Pass, electronic power assist steering. And that just allows you when you're going maybe on the highway, it's going to stiffen it up so that wind doesn't push you from side to side. But when you're going a little bit slower in this parking lot, it's going to make it a little bit easier to turn that steering wheel as well. Uh, so E-Pass is going to be standard equipment on these. Also, they're going to have the active grill shutters. Works, uh, it's going to be shutters up here in the, in the front of the grill. Uh, they'll open up when you're on the hot, on the uh, in town, allowing more air to flow into the engine, keeping it cool, performing a little bit better. But then uh, when you get on the highway, it's going to shut them, allow for more airflow around it since you have plenty of air coming up underneath, cooling the vehicle off or the engine off, I should say. So that's going to be standard equipment for you. Now up here in the front, the titanium does have a little bit different look uh, to it. You'll have the nice chrome surround with the chrome bars as well. So that's where you're going to see that nice uh, upgrade for the grill uh, up there in the front. Also down here on the lower part, silver painted front skid plate is what they call that down there. Also dresses that up, makes it look a little bit better too. Uh, your headlights, they are uh, going to be a halogen uh, reflector or projector, sorry, projector headlights. Automatic feature uh, means that you have an auto setting, they're going to turn off uh, when it gets light out, but then when it gets dark, it's going to turn them on. So you can have that come on automatically and rain sensing as well. So they will come on when you turn your wipers on. And then this does have also the daytime running lights and LED. So that you can have that configurable to be on as your daytime running lights. It's going to use a signature lighting just on the inside of those headlights. Uh, looks real sharp when you're driving down the road. Also your fog lights down here, they're going to be standard equipment on these. Uh, as well and instead of it maybe a different look or black uh, bezels around it it's going to be body colored so it's going to match with the body color around there so another way to distinct the design here on the front of it to being a, a titanium look here now let's talk for a minute about the windshield wipers uh, windshield wiper de-icers are standard equipment we go have from an se on up uh, so windshield wiper de-icers a great benefit of that is in the winter time uh, it gets uh, really you know, icy and such on your windshield. That defroster works really well. It defrosts the windshield. But then the wipers are still wet and then they'll freeze up. The windshield wiper de-icers will keep those thawed for you. And then also rain sensing wiper is standard equipment on your titanium level. Uh, rain sensing wipers when you have it one of those intermittent settings or the, the auto settings there, it's going to go ahead and turn those wipers on when it starts to rain. There's a sensor up here, uh, high up here on the windshield, so when it knows when it's raining, it's going to turn those wipers on. The harder it rains, the faster it rains, the faster they're going to wipe for you as well. And then laminated glass up here on this front windshield, so it's going to make it a lot quieter for you when you're driving down the road. Now as we move around to the side, the standard wheel on these are going to be a 17 inch premium dark stainless painted aluminum wheel. So great looking wheel here. Uh, this is going to be a standard equipment on all your titaniums. Also uh, I believe that's the only wheel available on your titanium trim. Also here on the mirror it does have a body color mirror cap. Turn signal indicator here on the outside so people know you're wanting to turn. Nice safety feature there. Power heated glass as well, so even in the winter time it's going to defrost that. Uh, titanium in the SES are one of the few vehicles that are going to get the heated uh, side view mirrors. Uh, and then it does have the bliss system, that blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. And the way that works, if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, if someone's going to cross your path behind you, it's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror from the side they're coming from. Put the message on the dash telling if they're coming from the left or the right in a series of tones that it's not safe to back up. So great system, love the Bliss, standard equipment on your titaniums. Uh, and also you're going to have the intelligent access with the uh, where you can unlock and lock the vehicle just by having that key fob on you. So you don't have to take it out, unlock it, you just come up, put your hands in the door handle, it's going to automatically unlock the vehicle, allow you to get in and out of the vehicle. Now it only does it for the front doors, not the back doors. Uh, and then when you get out, you just lock it by pressing the ridges on those doors and it's going to lock the vehicle up. When you get inside, it will also have push button start. So you have to get the keys out of your uh, vehicle to get in and out of it or to start it, which is a great feature there. Body colored uh, door handles as well on these instead of your molded in black. Uh, it also does have the chrome belt line across here, give it a nice luxury look here. And then the roof rack rails are going to go from a black to a silver painted roof rack rails. Again, giving more of a luxury trim look to those. 
uh, does have your molded in black down here. That's going to stay down there because instead of painting it, um, you know, body color or something like that, uh, the reason it's molded in is because a lot of times with these SUVs, you're sitting up a little higher. Usually rocks will kick up and maybe hit the side of the vehicle uh, down low. And this protects it so that it's going to be more durable for you and last longer than chipping that paint, rusting, whatever it might happen uh, with uh, some of that, those different uh, problems there. Also back here, you're going to see privacy glass on these back windows as well as the back glass. Keeps it cooler for everyone inside. Looks a lot nicer as well. And the last feature we want to talk about, it is standard equipment about every Ford vehicle anymore, and that is the, the Easy Fuel capless filler door. So I uh, love uh, mentioning it because it is kind of a nice feature. I enjoy it. I uh, don't have a cap to worry about losing, leaving behind, getting my hands dirty sometimes. You just open that door. Put that nozzle in, fill it up. When you're done, just close the door. So it comes in a real handy. There's a sticker on the side. It does show you if you do run out of gas and you need to use your own like a gas can, uh, you will need to use the funnel inside because it will not fit and open up that special security lock there. It's only set up for the nozzles from your gas and gas tank, gas stations and such like that. So really nice uh, standard equipment on this and uh, tight teams are pretty well equipped. Uh, one thing I did not mention earlier is uh, when you're going up on the different trims and you may be looking at those, the titanium isn't a step up from the SES. It's actually SES and titanium are a similar trim. So you would go from the S to either an SES, more of a sport look, or to the titanium, which is more of a luxury look. Now as we move to the back, it does have kind of an integrated rear spoiler back here into the top of the roof line. Uh, rear uh, center high mounted stoplight is going to be located right up here. Rear defrost with rear wipers so you can keep that gla back glass free of any kind of rain and ice and that kind of thing. Does have your tail lights are going to be halogen as well. And you'll see the silver accent here on those uh, tail lights. That's because this side is where the handle is going to be. We're going to use to open this up in just a little bit. Chrome accent here on the back of the lift gate. Does have your rear view camera with reverse sensing on the bumper. So as you're backing up, not only going to be able to see behind you, but you're also going to get alerted if you get too close to anything. Now, the reverse sensing is something you get when you go up to the SES in the titanium, and that's not um, standard equipment on your SE trim. Silver painted rear skid plate back here as well, give it a nice sport utility look uh, and functionality. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and open this up. You do just press the button in here. Actually, I have to unlock it, so I'll use a remote to unlock it. Press that little button there and then open it up and use that to pull open. does have the uh, swing open uh, lift gate, so this is the only Ford vehicle that has the swing open lift gate instead of uh, going up, which a uh, great functionality for that is that you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, things coming up or hitting your head or anything like that because these are a little bit smaller and a little bit lower to the ground. Swing open is a lot better instead of hitting your head on that lift gate here. So in 2019, they've changed a little bit from 2018. Now you have this, this hard shelf uh, system up here that kind of protects it so people can't see your different belongings. In the past, it was a tonneau cover that you pulled uh, open. So you can just uh, lift that up and it's going to give you a little access there. They can also be taken out uh, as well if you don't want that in there. In here, it does have floor mats. So we always keep them back here. So this is where I usually talk about the floor mats. You get floor mats not only in the front seat, but also for the footwells in the back seat too. So you're going to have it for the front and rear of the, of the vehicle. Now in here, you're going to see uh, pretty good functionality. There's a little shelf in here. So if I um, show you how that works, you can take it in and out pretty easily. Uh, and what the great benefit is, there's a couple of different positions on that. You can leave it flat in there and then you can also move it to the top one. Now the reason you might put it to the top one is it gives you a flat load level. So instead of dropping things down in, it kind of slides right in. So it gives you the flat load level, plus a little shallow area to be able to put some maybe small items in there. You can hide them, people can't see them under there uh, as well uh, that way. Also, there, there is a top one up there, and the reason you might use that is because this does have a 60-40 split bench seat for that rear seat. That seat can fold down. Now I'm going to show you uh, to lay it flat, to have that seat lay flat, you will have to pull the, the cushions up uh, from the rear seat. So just like you're seeing uh, in that clip right there, you have to um, pull that seat cushion up and then you can uh, lay that seat down. So real easy, if I can do that from back here. I can press the button back there and then lay that seat down and you can see it does flat load uh, flat. There is a lift there, but the seat itself does lay flat for that section of the seat. Now let's say if you want to put some items there a little bit longer and you don't want to have to lift it up and over that seat, move this shelf to the top one. Now you have it just slides right up and over that seat. And that's why you'd probably put it on that top level if you have something a little bit heavier that you need to, to kind of slide forward and up there onto the, into the back of the seat. So uh, that's a great functionality on that. Now I'm gonna pull this out because I do want to show you uh, the compartment underneath. 
I know this does have four tie downs, as you can see uh, some of those kind of exposed there. Uh, if you need to tie something down, you have that. Uh, if you pull this little loop, you can then open that uh, area up. You can see this does not have a spare tire in it. Uh, not available at all, even as optional equipment. It does have a tire inflator kit instead. So we see this with the hybrids as well uh, with the Ford vehicles. So you have that tire inflator kit in there along with your funnel in there we talked about earlier. If you need to run out of gas, you need to use a gas can. Uh, then that funnel will be used so you can use that. So that's how everything works in here. So pretty good functionality. Uh, a lot of people like the swing open gate uh, as well as the shelf system in here to be able to uh, kind of manage the cargo in there and give you some great functionality back here in the rear cargo area. So moving to the interior, we do have two different color interiors that are available for you. You do have your ebony interior and medium light stone interior. So let me describe those separately. Uh, this does have your ebony interior. So as you're seeing, as we're gonna give you a close up of the dash with this one as we did earlier, uh, the doors everywhere on the armrests and the center inserts are gonna be ebony interior, your dash as well. High gloss finish above the glove box, which I really like as well as around the vents. Uh, and then even on your armrest, there's going to be a uh, magnetic strip uh, on those accent on those doors as well. So you're going to see that your headliner is going to be that medium stone, whether you have the ebony or you have the medium light stone in there. And then the lower part is going to be the carpet is going to be black as well. Now, if you go with the medium stone interior, I'm going to give you some clips from uh, their website since this is the only titanium I have in stock. You're going to see the inserts on the door are going to be medium stone uh, as well as the lower part of the dash. You know, the glove box open uh, down there as well as below on the, on the driver's side. And then the, the carpet still going to be black. And then your seats are going to be the medium stone as well. So a uh, real nice uh, configuration, no matter which way you go. The, the trim in the vehicle uh, around the console, the vents, uh, that's all going to be the same no matter what color interior you have. Uh, it's just going to dictate, you know, whether you want some medium light stone or medium stone uh, for your seats as well as the lower part. Uh, that's going to be the difference between those two. Leather seating surfaces in these, so it does get upgraded from uh, the SE to, uh, from the cloth to these in leather with the perforations. Heated seat for the driver and front passenger up here, and the driver will get a uh, power seat over here. So we'll control the seat cushion uh, forward and back as well as the backrest, and it does have manual uh, lumbar as well for the seat. Uh, passenger seat does not, and it's all manual seat adjustment over there for the passenger seat. Uh, back seat, seats three back there. You do have an armrest that comes out of the middle backrest so with some couple cup holders back there. And behind this uh, console, you're gonna also get a 110 outlet. So that's an upgrade when you go up to titanium versus just having a power point back there. Uh, here on the door, you're gonna have your power windows, locks, mirror switches, including auto one touch for the driver's window. So it means I'm gonna go by and automatically have to uh, hold it. Uh, so that makes it a little bit easier at those drive throughs and such when you need to open up that window. Leather app steering wheel that is heated. When you go up to titanium or the SES, you'll get the heated steering wheel as well. And the leather wrapped is something you get when you go up from the SE uh, there. It does have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So just pull the lever over here on the left side and it'll go up and down forward and back. So you can get it just right no matter size driver you are. And then on the steering wheel, you have some uh, separate controls. Now you have the climate control down below on the left side uh, at the bottom there. And then up there on the top, you do have two D-pads. The one on the left will control your productivity screen there in the middle. That's that 2.3 inch screen. Uh, and I do have a video on our YouTube channel uh, exactly how to go through the functionality of that screen. So you, if you wanna watch that, you can. Uh, it's under the, our how-to videos or our informational videos there. Uh, so you, that's a D-pad you'd use for that productivity screen between your speedometer and your tack. The D-pad over here on the right is going to control all your Bluetooth technologies uh, that you can control over here with the screen. So you're going to be able to make and receive phone calls, the volume controls, some of your presetting for your radio are going to be controlled right there along with your voice command button right there in the middle. So that's what those are for. Push button start is going to be positioned just back here behind, uh, right beside your screen there to the left of it. So you can, again, don't have to get the keys out to start the vehicle uh, or to get in and out of it. Uh, for your climate control, it does have electronic auto climate control, so it's going to be able to control that electronically, a temperature control, kind of like you might be wood in your house, and it's going to be the same temperature for the driver, for everyone in the vehicle, basically, driver and front passengers, as well as those in the back seat. You'll also see two uh, power points down here, or I'm, I'm sorry, USB ports. Uh, they're the smart USB. You'll see those uh, light up with the blue. Uh, you plug your uh, phone in there. Uh, and they'll charge your phone as you have it driving. And there's also another power point down here, positioned down there. So plenty of ways to power different devices. And the nice little tray 
in front of there, in front of your shifter uh, as well, right there. Uh, right above your vents is where you're going to see your screen. It is upgraded for the when you go to the titanium to the eight inch touch screen. It is a Sync 3 screen, so the third generation voice enhanced recognition system, where you can see in there you're going to have your navigation, which is standard equipment on your titaniums with the pinch and zoom capabilities. You control your audio, your entertainment through there as well. It will have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, which I've been messing with uh, lately and really enjoy that. You do have to plug in your phone to use and use those and have access to those, uh, but it's nice integration right there and being able to use that. Uh, you can use Android Auto on your phone, uh, but just by being uh, Bluetooth, uh, but you will need to plug in to have that functionality come up here on your 8-inch screen as well there. Uh, and then your backup camera is going to show up here on this 8-inch screen uh, right here in the middle of your dash as well. Up here in the mir mirror here, you're going to have an auto-dimming rear view mirror, so you, it'll dim that mirror if those cars want to come behind you with those bright lights. And then on the overhead console, you're going to see a sunglass bin up there. So you can pop that open, put uh, sunglasses or smaller items in there and keep those in there. And then also you're going to see controls for your power moonroof. As seen above, gets a power moonroof as standard equipment with the manual sunshade. So you can just open up that sunshade if you want to to allow the light to come in. Or you can use these switches to go ahead and open that the glass up, the glass roof, uh, giving you the access to that moonroof. I also didn't mention uh, when I was talking about the uh, audio, this does have the upgraded B&O audio sound system with nine speakers and a subwoofer. So you're going to have that with HD radio capabilities, Sirius XM as well. And then with the Sync 3, you'll have the Sirius XM traffic and travel length as well with, uh, goes with that. And then it's uh, for the last thing I want to talk about before moving into optional equipment is the Ford Pass Connect. Ford Pass Connect is a great way to, for you to stay connected to your, uh, your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. Free app you download, you put your vehicle in there, you confirm it not only with your phone, but also with the, uh, the sync uh, system here to be able to know, so that way it knows that you have access to the vehicle and you're actually in the vehicle and you own the vehicle. So once you do that, you're gonna be able to unlock and lock the vehicle from anywhere. You can remote start the vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times, locate your vehicle. A lot of great functionality within that app. Uh, a lot of people reason uh, they're not having remote start uh, standard equipment or a part of some of these packages is because you can remote start it with using that app so and even schedule remote start times which is a great feature to have and it does have the Wi-Fi hotspots as well that goes along with that so that way you can uh, remote uh, you can uh, use the Wi-Fi hotspots if you have limited data on your phone plans you can get a $20 a month plan for this uh, vehicle so you can have unlimited data uh, for any any devices that, that hook up and connect to it within the vehicle, the modem in the vehicle. So uh, some great uh, features here. As you can see, a lot of great standard features on the Titanium. Let's talk about one package that's optional as well as some standalone options. I did want to mention before we go into the, the optional equipment, there's two features I did forget, and I do like to make these very thorough. Uh, one of those is ambient lighting. Ambient lighting uh, does light up the cup holders, the footwells, and your door handles. Uh, you can change the different colors in those using the Sync 3 screen. Uh, so be able to change it from the, the blue that you see that comes from the factory to different colors, uh, red, orange, I think they have green. So different colors in there, you can change the ambient lighting in the vehicle. It gives it a, a nice environment in here. Also this console, when you go up to the titanium, you did, you'll get a sliding console uh, cover. So you can just open that up or slide that forward, give you an armrest that kind of comes forward, uh, which is a great benefit. That's new for 2019 as well. We didn't see that in 2018. And then you can open this up. You have a smaller tray that's in here and to put some smaller items in as well as a pin holder in there and then a deeper uh, console. Small, but it is deep. So if you have something a little bit longer, you can put it in there as well. Uh, and there are some little compartments down in here as well. A little one back here uh, to be able to put coins, that kind of stuff, as well as another little small one uh, right up here too with right by your emergency brake. So I wanted to make sure I covered those and included those into the standard equipment. Now we're going to talk about some standalone options and a couple of these are in packages together like two options in a package uh, and some of these are things you'll need to order from the factory and to put on the vehicle uh, before it's sent to you and some of these can be ordered from your local uh, Ford or accessories department or even found online. You can even order them yourself from Ford Accessories website. Uh, so I'll kind of break those out as we talk about them. There's about seven optional features you can get on the vehicle. Now the first one to talk about is your engine block heater. Engine block heater is something you'll have to get from the factory and order it on your vehicle before you order your vehicle. And that comes in handy if you live in a cold weather state, you keep your vehicle outside a lot, get that engine block heater so you can plug that uh, cord into it, keeping that engine a little bit warmer in the wintertime, starting up a little bit better uh, in the morning. 
Uh, also, there is a package you can get. Uh, actually, before I talk about that package, let me talk about the front license plate bracket. Uh, and you say that is not going to be optional in states that require front tag. So if you live uh, maybe in a city you know, near us, Missouri, it uh, does require to have a front tag. It's going to be standard equipment will come on your vehicle when you order it. If you live in a state like Kansas, does not require front tag uh, and you want that put on there, it is optional equipment, but it is a no charge option anyway. That can be easily ordered uh, when you get your vehicle, but that's something to keep in mind. Now, the other one is a package. Uh, when they say it's a, a factory uh, option, it is gonna be put in the vehicle before it gets shipped to you, and that's the interior protection package. And that package is gonna include the all-weather mats. I call them floor liners for the front and rear seats, uh, but they are kind of an all-weather material. A lot of people call them all-weather floor mats. Uh, they're gonna go in the vehicle as well as a cargo mat that goes in the back to protect it. So it is a protection to protect the, uh, the floor of the vehicle. And that is a package that according to order guide is something you would order from the factory and it would be put in the vehicle before it's shipped to you. Uh, and, but it is also, those are some, a couple different things that can be ordered after you get your vehicle. We found out uh, from your local parts department here. Now, three other features uh, that are, can be also ordered on your vehicle. And these are all features I know that can be ordered there. If you do order it from the, on the uh, vehicle from the factory, they'll ship it to the dealership ahead of time and the dealership will be putting them on anyway. And the first one to talk about is your mud flaps or your splash guards and they can go on there especially if you live down dirt roads or you know you're getting out a lot of you know snowy weather or I or and that kind of thing or rain uh, you might want those to kind of protect the side of them a little bit more uh, than you might have with these uh, the way they are right now so that's something you can add to the vehicle also you can get a keyless entry keypad and that's going to go here on the side uh, double-sided uh, tape you order that you program it with your own special code that we can get in and out of the vehicle without having to, uh, to get your keys out uh, well you don't need to now but it allows you to be able to leave the keys inside the vehicle if you want to or access the vehicle you don't have the keys on you so that's something you can get on the vehicle too and then you can also get remote start remote start is something uh, we know you can remote start using the Ford Pass app but if you want to have that the individual remote start the remote start a little bit quicker uh, you do have this be in a certain proximity for, to do that but you can order remote start and again that's something that most of your Ford dealerships can be put on the vehicle after you get it shipped to the dealership uh, if you want to and then the last one is a package it is the cargo management package and uh, that also includes some things for the rear cargo area uh, two features in that one uh, one of them is going to be the cargo net that goes behind uh, back there put all those small items in there they won't roll around in the cargo area you can manage it as well as a cargo manager so it's kind of uh, kind of a divider uh, management system to be able to put some things in back there as well that goes in the vehicle uh, and since it does have a deep well that fits in there pretty well uh, you put that in there and then you can put those in there so they won't move around in the, in the cargo area so there's all your optional equipment that's available on your titanium trim of the 19 ford echo sport don't forget about the warranties a standard warranty in about all your ford vehicles three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty with the five year 60,000 mile uh, powertrain warranty and roadside assistance uh, for you as well so they'll come to your safety if you get a flat tire dead battery that kind of thing as well and help you tow you to the nearest, nearest Ford dealership so that's pretty much standard in all your vehicles now if you do want to see some Echo Sport inventory check out our website lawmacarthur.com they're on each one of our vehicles you can check for availability schedule test drive you can see lots of pictures as well as a 360 degree view of the vehicle inside and out uh, so every uh, single vehicle that we have in stock will have those uh, when they when they get into stock uh, and they show up to the dealership. So uh, definitely check that out. You're going to see our great internet price as well. And that is based on the zip codes here in Salina, Kansas. Uh, so uh, based on our, our rebates are based on here. And all your rebates are based on where you live or you're going to title the vehicle. So you definitely would want to uh, contact us if you want to check out the rebates based on your still great internet price. Uh, the rebates will kind of be adjusted and reflected depends on where you live. So if you want to check those out you can call or send us a text message at 785-378-5031 or you can call us toll free 1-800-874-6316 so hope you really enjoyed this video uh, this complete guide on the 2019 ford echo sport titanium so if you're in the market for an echo sport and you really love the information you got from this video you can work with us and we do have a special offer for all of our youtube subscribers and that's going to be free shipping from us to your door. And so that's a great benefit a lot of people take advantage of here at Law MacArthur. Uh, they do love these informative videos and like to work with us as a dealership and we do uh, give you free shipping. So that way you can get the same great internet price you would at your local dealership and have the vehicle shipped right to your door. We do ask that you finance it. We're very transparent about that because that 
shipping it to you does cost us money. Uh, if you do finance it with us, then we can get a, a big kickback from the, the lenders, um, but that's not a cost that's incurred onto you. So uh, we do basically net out the vehicle that way. Uh, most dealerships, if you finance with them, uh, they're making a little bit of money on the financing, whereas with us, we won't make any money on the deal. But it's a great way for you to get a, ve a great vehicle from a great dealership that knows the product and make sure you get the correct vehicle ordered the way you want it. So definitely reach out to us. You can call or send us a text message at 785 378 5031, or you can call us toll free 1 800 874 6316. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. If you're first time watching one of our videos, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down there. That way, you can get subscribed to our YouTube channel with some great Ford and Lincoln content, as well as some great cool af aftermarket and off road uh, videos that we do. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy some of the things we have, as well as we do some product knowledge and some how to videos as well. So, definitely check that out. Hit that notification bell. That way you get notified the next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. We upload about two or three a week, uh, so I think you're gonna see some great content there as we have new models that come out. We'll make sure we have videos. Uh, we love to kind of do these make model trim videos so you have a good idea of what's on each of the different trims, how you can get them equipped the way you want to. So definitely uh, check that out. Uh, also, don't forget, if you haven't had a chance, hit that, that thumbs up, smash that like button. Uh, that way it lets other people know it's a great video they need to watch. I'd appreciate it. It helps out this video, the channel, uh, and it just all in all just fun to do, right? So go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, let other people know it's a great video. And put the comments down below. I love getting feedback from you guys. Uh, if this video helped you out, I want to know that down below. If you have any questions I can uh, kind of help you out with, definitely uh, put those down below. And you can reach out to me on social media as well. I'm at Tim Bartz on Facebook and Twitter. So you can follow me there. I do retweet all of these videos uh, when they go live. So if you don't want to hit the notifications for the channel, you can do that, uh, turning on your notifications on Twitter and follow me there. And that way you can make sure you get updated with that as well as any other information and things that are happening here at the dealership as well as I tweet them out. So uh, definitely do that for me. So I uh, hope you enjoy this video again. And until the next one, we'll see you later.